Hi, I'm Paul Haney with Fluid Power World, and welcome to another Technology Tuesdays podcast. Joining me today is Tony Casasa, who is an application engineer with Aggressive Hydraulics. Tony uh, did a great presentation at our recent Fluid Power Technology Conference in Milwaukee, so we wanted to have him here and uh, talk about it a little bit. Welcome, Tony. Thanks, Paul. Thanks for having me. Now, Tony, you talked about, uh, I think uh, the, the title of it was Sending Your Cylinder to School, and it was uh, kind of a, a fun talk about some of the advancements that have been made in smart cylinders over the years. Uh, I know you have an integral linear position sensor option in, in your cylinders. What, what benefits have uh, Aggressive Hydraulics customers seen from using these types of cylinders with integral linear position sensors? Sure, Paul. Using the cylinders with the position sensors has enabled our customers to do a number of things that benefit their machine. Mm -hmm. uh, one of those is they, they can have precise control. They can close the loop and know exactly where the cylinder is and uh, use the electronics and the valve to, to control that. Um, another benefit, another way they've used it is to to coordinate or even to synchronize the movement of multiple cylinders. That's always been a challenge in hydraulic applications and, and the addition of a sensor can, can really enable uh, the system to do that well. Sure. And then one other one is, is uh, they've been able to increase the cycle speed of the cylinder to be able to operate it smoothly and safely but improve productivity. Are uh, safety uh, regula regulatory requirements, that sort of thing, does that come into play at all as well? Yeah, it sure does. That's certainly becoming more and more common that uh, machine designers and even end users are required to meet certain regulations, uh, and they're faced with finding some way to, to design their machine to meet those. And oftentimes, a cylinder with a sensor is, can enable meeting those regulations. Great. Can you talk a little bit about some of the, the applications for uh, which your company has designed and built some smart cylinders? Yeah, we've designed and built smart cylinders for a variety of both industrial and mobile applications. Uh, a few that come to mind are rail maintenance, entertainment, material handling, and oil and gas. Oh, very cool. Uh, what are some of the potential advantages of using a smart cylinder versus some other sort of feedback options that you have in fluid power? Yeah, there's lots of options out there for somebody that's looking to get some feedback on the position of the cylinder or position of a sh machine member. Mm -hmm. um, and having a sensor in the cylinder is one of those options. Uh, a few of the be benefits is it's fewer parts for the customer to purchase, install, mount, and adjust. And then also with the sensor being totally enclosed inside the hydraulic cylinder, it's protected from potential damage. Uh, mm -hmm. It could be physical damage from falling items, or it could be uh, environmental protection against water ingression or dust. Makes sense. And then, Tony, lastly, are there any uh, limits to the applications that uh, you could use smart cylinders for? You know, with the variety of sensors available out there, uh, there's not a lot of limits. You know, even if you need a sensor for a very long stroke cylinder, uh, even if it needs to be for an uh, explosion-proof environment, um, maybe an application requires for extremely fast response or accuracy, or maybe even recalls for redundancy. There's, there's sensors available for all of those and many more special applications. Great, Tony. I appreciate you taking some time with us today. Now, if uh, our listeners want more information about aggressive hydraulics, uh, is there somewhere they can go online? Yeah, they can go to www.aggressivehydraulics.com. Wonderful. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks, Paul. And thank you for listening.